probably wondering how to view this event, well the first place is, where do I look obviously? Well you're going to want to look to the east southeast sky about 110 degrees if you're familiar with compass degrees. And also it's going to be a morning event, it'll start becoming all the plants visible around 5.30 or so. And the best time to view will be between then and about 6.15. After that, with the sun coming up earlier and earlier, it'll be too much light in the sky to really see the, uh, the fainter planets really, really well. Now, it will be close to the end of the month. However, the closest will be on the morning of the 27th. And the moon will also be closest on this day as well. That's the morning of uh, Saturday night into the first part of Sunday morning. Now, Venus will be the brightest of the three, obviously. That's just the brightest object in the night sky, with the exception of the moon, obviously. Now, Venus will always be to the furthest right of all three of these planets. Now, Saturn is the one that's actually going to move a little bit. Now, it'll start off below Venus at the beginning of this period, but we'll transition it to the right as we head through later in the month. Now, here's a very badly drawn schematic of what it's going to look like on the morning of the 27th. See, Venus is going to be the brightest planet. That's going to be the furthest up. Down below that's going to be Saturn, just about due uh, below it, maybe a little bit to the left. Then Mars will be over here to the right. Happy stargazing, everybody.